I want to have this press briefing is to clarify on the allegations you know, given by our dear friends from NGO with regards to the construction of the assembly building. Yes, I wanted to clarify you know, as early as possible, but I was outside, I just returned back home, and uh, that's why I, on, I could only you know, call this press briefing today. Now, firstly, I would like to clarify, you know, with the allegations that the, the cause of the, that the tender cause of the project was done by the executive engineer. Now, with regards to this, I want to clarify that the executive engineer has no authority to, to enhance the tender cost because the financial power of the executive engineer is only six lakhs according to the financial rule. And you know, with regards to the estimate, if we revise the estimate, with regards to the estimate, you know, if we need to revise the estimate, we need to follow according to the official and technical procedures. Firstly, the office of the executive engineer prepare, you know, the revised estimate and then send to the office of the chief engineer for approval. The chief engineer approved the revised estimate and once he approved the revised estimate, then the revised estimate he will send to the user department. And in this project, the user department is the Department of Parliamentary Affairs. Now the Parliamentary Affairs, once they get this approved revised estimate from the chief engineer, they will, they will call you know, for the departmental sanctioning committee. And in this, in this departmental sanctioning committee, there are members from different departments, PWD buildings, planning departments, mechanical just assembly secretariat, and then parliamentary affairs. Now, this committee will scrutinize for this approved estimate, and accordingly, the parliamentary affairs will give the administrative approval and send it to the planning department for prioritizing of this project. Now the planning department, again, you know, send to the finance department for a final approval and sanction by the, by the finance department. The finance department accord the sanction of this project and then send to the user department, parliamentary affairs. And the parliamentary affairs once gets the sanction copy from the finance department, then send to the chief engineer for necessary action. And accordingly, CE also will instruct and advise the EE to do the needful. So these are the procedures. These are the official procedures with regards to the enhancements of course. Okay. And now, you know, with regards to the allegations that the executive engineer has not sought the approval of the HPC. Now, in this regard, I want to clarify that, you know, the executive engineer is not the competent authority to ask any, any approval from the HPC. And also, I want to state here that, you know, with regards to the in inquiry, you know, right on that very day, when the incident happened, personally, I, I was, I was, I was very, very clear, and I expressed that you know, it is good to have, you know, a third party inquiry. So from my side, I want to, you know, clarify on these points. Now, to conclude, 
I just want to tell you that you know RTI, it is all right. It is very important for all of us. But you know to in, interpret the informations of the RTI, you know it has to be very very careful because it misled you know to the public at large.